Hi, I'm Rebecca Restrepo and I'm the Global Makeup Artist for Elizabeth Arden. I'm here with Lauren today and we're going to recreate some of the looks from War Paint, the musical that's loosely based on Elizabeth Arden and Helena Rubinstein. And so the look that we're going to do on Lauren is from the 1950s. And for that look, it was a nice to find brow and an eyeshadow that was light, and you look down, that was light in the center to find in the crease. But it was also still very subtle. Where the color came in was in the impact of the lip, which was like a corally red. And then of course, the final thing was to create that really beautiful eye, that liquid liner. Think of Marilyn Monroe. So it was like a sexy shimmery lid in the center, which we did with Lauren. And what I used was bronze to be from the eyeshadow palette. So I used this on the lid, which is the gold. They enhanced the base shade. And I used the golden brown, the defined shade in her crease, and a little bit of the white just underneath the brow to highlight. I'm using the liquid liner, which is water resistant, which is very important is that you shake it before you use it. It has a really nice fine tip because the drama came in in the line and in the corally red line. So the easiest way that I find to do a liner is to use my pinky as an anchor, as like a compass. Instead of it being free form in my hand wobbling on me, I use my pinky as an anchor and I'm gonna have you look down. And so when you do your own, what I tell women is don't try to do it like this because that's going to be a squidgy mask no matter what age you are. So if you take your, yourself, when you're looking in the mirror, look back like you're looking into your nose. It enables you to get that line and not do this and scrunch up your eye, but you actually have the full shape. And I'm using my pinky as an anchor. And I'm just going really short, connecting through. And the liner, the brush, is a really, really fine felt tip. It won't open on you, it won't splay on you, it'll stay nice and tight and fine. So now we're gonna do the other eye so I can, gonna, can show you how to create that balance so that you don't have one going north and the other one going south, which happens to a lot of women. So again, shake it once you put the brush back in. I'm gonna use again my pinky always as my anchor. I'm just going to go really fine line right along her lash line from the inside corner moving in and you can see I'm trying to, I'm just doing it in short connecting strokes I'm not trying to do it in one even stroke and I move it around what makes it easier so I now move it to the other cheek with the anchor of my pinky and then oops I made a mistake because she blinked because what I like to do is take one of these Q-tips that you can get at any drugstore that are flat on one side and pointy on the other while it's wet. Just pull it down and it comes right off. You have to do it quickly while it's wet and always work down. So again, I'm going back. I had made that little budgy mistake. So now I'm going to have you look straight ahead and I'm using the corner of her eye is my anchor and I'm going to aim out and usually when I aim out I'm aiming, aiming out towards the top of her brow using that as a guide instead of going straight like towards the ear which will make it drop just more of an angle like going out like you're trying to create almost like a V an illusion of that so now I've created that now I'm going to do the connection come from the outside So once you've done the connection from the corner to the middle, just always make sure that the baseline is saturated, that you don't see flesh tone because the whole point is to have that richness that really brings out the eye. So you want it to all be black. And then now it's mascara. So now that we've done the liquid liner, of course, you have to finish with mascara. And we use Grand Entrance, because what else does a lady do? And so this is her 1950s look with a great liquid liner and a nice coral red lip. 